Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Friday the 18th of September 2015 and we look at the Fed's decision not to raise interest rates yesterday and its impact on precious metals. The last time the Fed raised interest rates was in 2006. Despite much speculation, Janet Yellen did not raise rates this month but did say they could be raised at the meeting to be held in October. The reasons for not raising rates are concerns about the fragile economy and the low US inflation rate. The Fed would like to see inflation stand at around 2%. We quote, We expect inflation to move back to 2%, says Yellen. Energy prices have created a drag on inflation, but she views it as transitory. In the meantime, the labour market has continued to improve and is moving closer to full employment, which creates upward pressure on inflation, she says. We'd like to have a bit more confidence, she adds, noting that as labour markets improve, it helps bolster that confidence. The AFL CIO is the largest federation of unions in the United States. Its president, Richard Trumpka, echoed similar sentiments in his statement, which says, We are pleased that the Federal Reserve has kept interest rates unchanged. We know the economic recovery still has not reached working families, and even a small increase can have devastating effects on our economic stability. The Federal Reserve is wise not to raise interest rates while inflation is running low and wages are flat. Real wages need to rise with productivity. We hope the Fed will now dedicate its time to producing economic policies that work for all and raise wages to a level that can sustain a family. An out-of-balance economy that exacerbates the incredible income inequality we see in this country must be fixed to strengthen our families and communities. Now Peter Schiff has made large in a video published yesterday that Yellen admitted that interest rates could remain zero forever. This is what she really said. In answer to the question, could the US be stuck in a zero interest rates loop. She replied, not really. I cannot completely rule it out, but really that's an extreme downside risk that in no way is near the center of my outlook. The Dow Jones closed down 0.39%, the S&P down 0.26%, and the Nasdaq was up 0.1%, with the FTSE 100 index falling by 42 points, or 0.7%. At the time of this video, gold is standing at $1,138, up $16 on the day, and st silver stands at $15.25, up 41 cents on the day. The key question is where do the precious metal prices move from here? Well, not raising rates is bullish for both gold and silver. However, if as many suspect, the economy is not in a fit state and in fact is declining, this will put downward pressure on these commodities as well as the others. We envisage a little further upward movement and then a slow but continual downward trend over the next couple of months. We hope you have found this video useful and informative. If so, please give it a thumb up, comment, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Also, it would be helpful if you could share this on Twitter and follow us at Illuminati Silv one Disclaimer. Silver Illuminati owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice, 
and merely represent the personal views of its owners.